It's Greg. Hey, Greg. It kept asking me for a password, and I don't know. I finally figured it out. Interesting. I don't think I had to enter a password, but you're here. That's all that matters. We we only gave one to you, Greg. Yeah. You're the <laughs> only one. Wait. Were we hoping he couldn't figure it out? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. I would, from oh, great. I would never say that, ever uh, say that. Huh? <laughs> I am curious, is the logo backwards? Is the what? The logo there. Um, the logo, right? The, yeah, lo the logo. Is it supposed to be OHA first and then PEB? No. No, my logo on my background. Does oh, it look see. backwards? Um, oh no. Oh no, no, I can see it, the normal document. So. Hard to tell if it's backwards. The water falls to the to the left of your head as we see oh, it. Oh I I thought you meant the presentation, Veronica. Yeah. No, no. Veronica's not coming back. up on mine, so I can't see her. All righty. Really? Huh. Okay, so welcome everyone. Um, so first off, welcome to this uh, combined uh, PEB member advisory uh, committee as well as Worksite Wellness Coordination Council meeting. Um, we have quite a few attendees today and we'll cover a pretty uh, wide variety of topics. Um, second, we provided uh, both a link to the meeting in the Microsoft Teams uh, meeting invite. Um, and it also includes just a call in um, audio only option. Um, please only select one of the, the audio options. Um, and I, I would please suggest that you uh, go on mute and mute on your end when you're not participating. Yeah. Uh, third, we have a really full agenda. Um, well, I will review the agenda in a few minutes. I wanted to share um, a few uh, general comments first. So um, we've invited both PMAC members. Uh, coordinating council members, and we also invited our health equity work group members, as well as we sent a last minute invite to OEB and PEB staff for today's meeting. Um, we're not asking for any committee action today, which means um, it'll be a little more informal, and it also means you can just kind of put your um, feet up, listen to the presentations, um, with the goal that we're trying to give everyone in attendance um, kind of getting everyone up to the same general baseline level of knowledge about PEB's uh, business. Um, please speak up and ask questions. Um, usually we have a really good group about asking questions. I know the presenters are really good about answering them. And if we don't know the answer, we'll simply take a list of action items away and figure out a way to send you some FAQs afterwards. Um, Given the number of attendees, I'm not going to do a roll call um, or have everyone introduce themselves. Um, another note that we are going to record of the meeting, uh, and because this is kind of a broad based meeting with a lot of general presentations, um, we're also going to record it so that way, um, as we have new committee members over the next year or new employees, um, that this will be just another um, tool that we can have them review to get up to speed on our business. OK, so I'm ready to jump into the agenda. Before I do, um, are there any questions, comments, concerns? I'm not seeing any, and I would ask Rebecca and others. I have some um, talking points that I'm also looking at, so if anyone is raising their hand in Microsoft Teams and I do not notice, please just speak up. Hey, Brian, there's somebody that's trying to get into the room and I for some reason it's popped up for me. I've hit admit a couple of times, but it's, they're not able to join. His Milia Cartier. I'm seeing that too. Um, I, keep, I keep hitting admit and then. Well, there we go. Maybe that did it. Let's see, did we get his Melia joined? Look. Okay, well, we can check in a minute. Okay, so in terms, and then Rebecca, if um, after we get started, if 
Ismail is not on the phone. Maybe we can send her an email just to find out what, um, or a message finding out what the issue is. Okay, in terms of the, the agenda, again, um, a really full agenda today. We're going to cover a lot of information. Again, just sit back, listen, take it in, and ask questions uh, as you see fit to gain a better understanding of our business. Um, again, I, I mentioned we had also invited OEB and PEB staff, um, and that's so they, they could get up to speed as well. Not, not all of our staff can um, attend all of the board meetings and hear these types of presentations all the time, so this is also a good opportunity uh, for them. So uh, the topics we'll cover today, we are going to um, start with uh, some information about health equity. I'll introduce uh, the health equity uh, work group and some information about how we're planning on moving that work group uh, forward. Um, Teresa and I will talk a little bit about um, coordinating PMAC and coordinating council uh, work. Um, and then we'll jump into various presentations um, about PEB's business, including you know, who our members are, the type of benefits we offer, as well as information about our budget and finances. Um, we'll have Damian Braco present some information about insurance concepts. Uh, Cindy Bowman will share some information on the type of benefits we provide um, and how uh, collective bargaining relates to those benefits. Um, I'll then present some information from our systems team about where our eligible members receive services, uh, where they are enrolled. We will have Stephen Nelner from uh, Mercer then present information about our members' health characteristics, uh, such as utilization and risk. Um, I will then share information about PEB's budget and other financial information or requirements that was developed by our finance team. So that presentation may be a little scary with me doing budget and finance. Um, let's see, I will then uh, briefly talk about the biggest changes and challenges that um, we encountered the past year and a half and two. Um, and even though that discussion could probably take a couple hours, we'll keep that to five to 10 um, minute recap. Um, Cindy and I will then talk a little bit about what is on the horizon for PEB and OEB. Um, and then last, Teresa and I will share a few comments on next steps um, and next few meetings, depending on how the discussion goes and whether we identify any additional immediate um, action items. So with that said, let me take a quick step back, survey the field. Any questions or comments about the agenda? OK, I'm not seeing any, so we will move on to agenda item number two, which is health equity. Um, just to note, we don't have any handouts uh, for this meeting. Um, we had our uh, first uh, meeting of our health equity uh, work group uh, yesterday. Um, and for those of you on the coordinating council and PMAC, um, I know you've been um, aware of, of that work um, and us setting up that uh, work group. Um, so first off, um, the work group is uh, the main members are OEB and PEB board members. We have two members from each board. Um, from the OEB board, we have Dr. Tom Siltabo um, and Dr. Susan Reiki Smith. And from the PEB board, we have Sean Parkman and Siobhan Martin. I think we have a couple of our health equity work group members actually here today. So before Michael and I just share a few kind of nuggets of information about uh, the work group, um, I saw Siobhan and Sean, do you guys want to introduce yourselves? Sure, I'm happy to do that. I'm Siobhan Martin. I am the Deputy Executive Director of SEIU. I'm excited um, that this presentation is happening today um, with you all, and both Sean and I served on the PMAC committee. So Greg, um, nice to see you again, and um, I know that this particular committee is really important and has been for a number of years, so we appreciate when you send information to us on the PEB board, and again, um, I appreciated the time I spent on this committee and good to see you too, Brian. I'll hand it off to you, Sean. Thanks a lot. Hi, everyone. I'm Sean Parkman. I'm the vice chair of the PEB board. And I, um, for my day job, I work in the Oregon Health Authority and I'm a, a rank and file member of SEIU. And uh, uh, that's my representation on the board. And uh, I just, like Siobhan said, uh, I started off uh, on this committee, the PMAC committee, when it first was created. And um, uh, since then, 
uh, have really uh, appreciated uh, all of the contributions that PMAC makes because we we take a, a serious look at information that you send to the board and and usually make decisions based on those. Uh, 